Hi, welcome to this week's problem of the week. Um, so, it's Valentine's Day and you haven't decided on your date. So, you have three potential dates and a bunch of flowers. You're going to give a certain number of flowers to each person in each house. Um, however, as soon as you get on their driveway, You'll have, a pretend, uh, you'll have a swarm of suitors after your knowledge and keen ability to do math, um, and they will give you twice the number of flowers that you already have. So the problem is, how many flowers do you want to start out with? Um, obviously, you could start with zero flowers and give zero to each date, but that would be very nice. So we're going to solve... Um, for a non-zero uh, answer. So here I've drawn in the picture um, what's going to happen. So you'll start off with a certain number of flowers, multiply that by two, subtract some number of flowers to give to your date, times that by two, subtract n, and repeat once more. So we have two variables, um, but we're only going to have one equation, so that means we're going to have an infinite number of solutions to this equation. So here we have um, pretty much a ver verbatim equation that's not very easy to work with, so we have 2f minus the G, so we'll have F be our starting number of flowers, G be the number that we give each to each house. Um, so 2F minus G, that times 2 minus G times 2 minus G equals 2. So what we're going to do is simplify this equation. Now we have 8f plus 7 So that, all that really tells us is that we want 8 times the number of flowers that we start with can be equal to 7 times the number of flowers. Um, so we're going to reduce this even farther and get something that we So now we have the number of flowers that we start with is going to be equal to 7 g over 8. So that means that in order to start with a whole number of flowers, we're going to have to start with some multiple of eight. Uh, we're going to have to give some multiple of eight flowers to each um, potential date. And also, we're going to give seven times um, that number to each date if you want to find that flower. So one solution. I said that the other way around. So your one solution would be to give eight flowers. Um, would be to give eight flowers to each day. So that would make that um, meaning you'd have to start with seven flowers. Um, you could also give sixteen, and you would start with fourteen flowers. Um, there's an infinite number of solutions, but. flowers you want to start with based on how many flowers you're going to give to each other. Thank you for watching this week's Problem of the Week. You can visit thecenterofmath.org, subscribe to our channel, or watch more Problems of the Week in the links here. Or if you're on a mobile device, you can find an information card at the top right.